What's up everyone, it's your boy Red 89 here bringing you another video and today a rad movie review going into talking about a film from 1988, a Japanese horror film called Evil Dead Trap directed by Toshihiro Ikeda. Sorry if I butchered that last name, I really tried. And this is a film of course with that title, you know, it's kind of leaning into the Sam Raimi Evil Dead vibes. It's, it's a wild ride, just needless to say this film is a freaking wild ride. It's a gore fest, and today we're going to talk about the positives, the negatives, then my rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's get into this video. Roll it. So Evil Dead Trap is a 1988 Japanese horror film that follows our main character who is a late night talk show kind of host lady. She hosts, hosts like a late night, you know, all, you know, graveyard shift type, you know, and has to deal with a snuff video that gets sent to her and it interests her like all kinds because she's usually like requests videos that get sent to the station, the TV station and stuff like this. This is very like old school kind of VHS, you know, like with the, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's like one of those kind of really dark snuff videos that you don't want to see. And the gore effects are wild in this for sure. And that leads her on an investigation route. And she takes a team with her, you know, some camera people, some makeup effects, you know, an assistant director, like a, a team of people. And they go to investigate where this videotape came from. And that leads them down a very, very dark path. So today let's talk about, let's get into the positives right away. And one really key positive with Evil Dead Trap for me is the gore effects. The gore effects are all pretty much practical, like all practical effects. And it's just, that's what I love about this film is when you lean into that stuff, that's my favorite thing. And it's like, it always has like a creepier, gorier, you know, nastier feel to it. And this film does have that feel to it. And sometimes Japanese, like J-horror films, they just know how to do the right tone and like the right amount of gore, the right lighting, and they could kind of make it a little bit more creepy, a little bit more raw, you know, it feels a little bit more real. So I like that aspect of this film. So the gore, definitely for me being a gore hound, I was pleased for sure. Another amazing thing with Evil Dead Trap is by far my second favorite thing is the score. It's a very melodic kind of fun score you know it's not like it's it's creepy in essence but it's kind of fun melodic like it gets stuck in your head but for the right scenes and the right moments it, it really is creepy and like really when you have a good song that elevates your film so much and that's like said with the gore factor the song like we're already in a really good positive area for me with this film what's cool about this film too is it does like i said evil dead trap it does have that evil dead sam raimi vibe but it also has a little bit of basket case vibes but also has a slasher element vibe going on so it, it's got a lot of elements of different films and you would think like saying all those things out loud that it probably wouldn't work but it actually works in this film and it's because the director and the writers they just go for it it's a wild ride for sure and like once they get to this place like once the lady creates her team and they go to investigate where this tape came from dude they they oh man you do not want to go where they came from because the kills in here you know they start getting picked off one by one then they have to find out what's going on and like the deaths are not nice they are mean and that's what i like about this film too is it can be rough watch for sure that's i must one say say one thing as a warning there is sa sequences in this film and i know that could be a trigger warning thing for some people, so I'm warning you right now, if that's something that bothers you, do not watch this film. So yeah, there's some rough rough scenes in this film, but they go for it, and like that, that's what I mean. It, with, when it comes to Evil Dead, that's what I like. I like the fact that Evil Dead, they just kind of go for that factor, go balls to the wall. And this one doesn't necessarily have as much comedy as like the Sam Raimi Evil Dead film, and then we'll get more into that when we get to the mixed and negatives and stuff. But yeah, they go for the intense kills, the rawness, the gore, and like I said, the really good music all there in this film. And I really had a fun time with our final girl. I think she does a fabulous job, which I believe her character's name in the film is Nami or Nomi. I'm sorry if I forgot that, but it's like, it's one of those. She's amazing. She was a great final girl. She goes through a lot of stuff and you spend like a good chunk of the film 
in the third act, just watching her tackle situations, watching her, you know, make mistakes and learn things and then go back. And like, you know, a lot of stuff happens. And it's like, you know, kind of remind me of um, like, you know, like Ridley Scott's like Alien, you know, with Ripley or like Sarah Connor with Terminator, the first one, you know, like having them go through so many trials and tribulations and then finally overcoming what was happening so yeah this third act and like our final girl all that stuff the gore effects like right up my alley for sure another good thing about this film is it has have a twist i'm not going to spoil the twist i'm not going to say anything but once it does land and they go for the twist and what is revealed in this film i did not freaking see it coming i kind of want to spoil it because it's from 1988 but i don't really want to because i want more people to check this out and it's currently streaming on Shudder, and I believe Epics, Epics has this, and Shudder, I think, are the two places where you can stream this. But I really want some more people to see this. But yeah, there's a certain thing that happens in that third act, and when it's revealed, I was like, dang, I did not expect that. You know, and like, this film's gone all over the place by this point and done a bunch of crazy things, and I'm like, damn, I still did not expect that. Also, we got some sweet, awesome Giallo vibes going on in this film, too. So yeah, Evil Dead Trap, it just... It was like I was a horror, you know, hound, like a young horror kid, like, you know, just chilling. And like the candy, it's like candy for me. Like the film was just offering me so much candy. And I was just like, oh, this is awesome. Like, I can't believe it. I was just eating it up. You know, my eyes were glued to the screen. So yeah, Evil Dead Trap. I had a ton of fun with this film. But let's get into the mixed and negatives right now. And one of the mixed right now and negatives is that the comedy in this film, I don't think it really lands. They do go for some comical elements. It does lean more into the serious stuff, like once they get into the third act. But there's some comical moments in this film and it doesn't really land. And the side characters kind of like are wishy-washy. But like, you do care for some of them. Like some of them, like because of the deaths and what happens, you're like, damn, like you, they didn't really deserve that kind of stuff. But then there's other characters that don't get deaths that are like that badass. You, you, they deserve some more hardcore deaths, you know, like there's... Certain elements, like I said, they go really hardcore, like very Lucio, Fulci, you know, Giallo vibe. So if you know what I'm talking about when I say that as a horror fan, a lot of horror community people will understand that's the kind of gore and the kind of violence you're going to be getting in this film and stuff like that. So, yeah, some weak side characters besides that. Comedy doesn't necessarily land, but overall in my book, I had a freaking blast with this film for real. Like... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I was going to settle in at a rating, and I think I'm going to sit at an 8 out of 10 for this film. This is a banger for sure. I think very worthy of having Evil Dead in the title with this film, because yeah, I watched those like Evil Dead Trap. Let's see. This is just going to be some like Japanese kind of ripoff of Evil Dead. Not really good, and no, it's very worthy of having it in that title, and I'm so happy that I sat down and watched this film, because it was totally worth it. I don't know when I'm going to return to it, but I believe there's actually a sequel to this film. So if you've seen that film, let me know in the comment section, is that film worth it? I'll probably check that one out. And also in the comments, like I said, if you've seen this one, let me know what your thoughts are on Evil Dead Trap. And if you haven't, like I said, it's currently streaming on Shudder and Epix. That's where you can go check this film out. And yeah, if you're a gore hound and you like, you know, violence and you like crazy wild you know films that take a lot of twists and a lot of turns and like you don't know what's actually going to happen by the time you get to that third act a lot of crazy imagery as well then this film's right up your alley but most importantly be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel and also have a safe and happy day everyone peace out